Hi, happy new year and welcome to Fantasio. This is, you know, my very first video, relaxed and to reconnect with you. I hope you had a wonderful holidays and you are rested and ready to take on 2020. I am ready if you are ready. Good. We are all ready to take on 2020. So here is the deal. One of the first things that came into my mind to share with you this year was how much, you know, we, uh, we waste the ideas that come into our minds all the time. You know, how, so I'm going to be talking to you on how to take your bathroom ideas to the worst stage. You know, so many times, you can attest to the fact that the best ideas that you have about writing your book, about a business, whether it's your career or what you want to do, the best ideas always come while in the ladies, while using the ladies or while bathing in the bathroom, you know. And as soon as your leg steps out of that room, those ideas tend to disappear and sometimes it leaves us wondering or feeling angry or feeling you know a certain way that we don't like and which even pushes us further into losing those moments of light bulb that could you know those breakthrough ideas they completely disappear from us so you know why does that happen that is one thing that is one question you need to come to terms with you know these moments those times when you are in the toilet or when you're in the bathroom these are moments when you face yourself away from all distractions away from the world view away from everything and this is when your subconscious your subconscious desires you know they creep out when you are not being judged, nobody is judging what you know, judging you, you feel the most comfortable that you can be. So you can find out then that what happens is as soon as you step out into the world, into, into the reality of the world, your environment, you know, then you are hit with the reality again and you go back to what you've always known. That is exactly what happens. So how do you overcome this? How do you build an unshakable confidence so that your mind, your you can follow your intuition, you can follow your desire, you can follow your dreams in reality. You know, you know, but because most times the things, the pictures we create in our mind, the only thing that stops us is that lack of belief. That lack of confidence, that fear of the unknown, that fear that people are going to laugh at you. Let me tell you something. Whether you succeed or not, people are always going to laugh. People always have a reason to laugh at you. They are always going to have a reason to laugh at you. So for me, I always like to create even more reasons why people should laugh at me. As long as I am doing what my innermost heart desires so this is the beginning of it you need to build the most you know the unshakable confidence in your idea you need to build unshakable you know confidence in yourself believe in yourself believe in your idea that you have the best idea you see the most um, um, breakthrough ideas that we have seen in the world the most breakthrough businesses that you know that the world has seen most of them usually the idea came when they are in the toilet you know but the difference between these people and you is that you know they took action they took action so until you take action you cannot be a speaker you cannot be an author you cannot make video you cannot be you know you cannot be a writer you cannot be you cannot have a business that is just the the difference it, the success does not respect 
um, how many certificates you have. It does not respect whatever possessions you have. It does not respect who is your father, who is your mother, you know, until, you know, you, you emerge yourself into the principles, until you master the principles of success. You know, success could be success. You're looking for money, you're looking for career success, you're looking for business success, relationship success, whatever area of your life you want to improve. The difference, you know, that the thing, what is holding you from achieving that is the actions that you take. Now, and the actions that we take hinges on these three major principles, which is your attitude, your belief and your um your habits you know and these things are usually what our environment provide for us so until you begin to live above what your environment gives you what your environment tells you what your situation is saying to you then you cannot go beyond where you are today and where you want to be so in my uh, mentoring sections, I talk, I, I, I drill people into building that unshakable confidence that you can be it. You know, have you been to a conference before? Maybe one, two, three, four, five confer conferences or seminars or workshop, and you, you're like, hmm, actually what is being said there, I can say it better. I know it better than the speaker. Have you read a book before and you feel, hmm, this author doesn't even know what she's talking about. I can write this topic better. But you haven't. The fact is you haven't. So what I tell people is this. If you haven't had at least 10 of these moments, whether it's about book or conference or listening to somebody speaking and you feel you know it better, if you haven't had it, then you're not doing enough. And if you have had them and they have not pushed you into action, then you need help. You need a lot of help to help you get your, you know, acts together, get what you know together, give you the confidence, give you the habits that will help you in, you know, putting your knowledge to action, to actualize the things that you desire in your heart. You know, sometimes we desire things, we have dreams, we have visions of things we want to achieve, but we are held back by our beliefs, by our habits, by our inactions, you know, our attitude, you know, to learning, to, you know. So for you to be successful, you need to learn how to learn. You know, you must be teachable. You must be able to learn even from the people you think you know better than. Because success does not respect your certificate. Success does not respect the name of school you went to. Success does not re respect, you know, how many universities you've been to, how many lectures you've been to, until you learn and you are able to take action. So that's the brief video today for to welcome you to 2020 and tell you that you must take action. This is the year for action. This is not a year to sit back and keep listening and taking in all the contents that you see without doing anything with them. So this year is a year of action, a year of signing up to that uh, mentoring section, coaching section, you know, it, it, making sure that you are having practical steps towards actualizing your own dreams, not just sitting down and watching and taking up ideas and criticizing everyone and laughing at everybody, laughing at people's accents, laughing at people's dressing and all that. This is the year of action. This is the year to get up from your bum and do something and look into the areas of your life that have not been you know, giving you the best that you want. Now, get in touch with me to, you know, to sign up for my group sections or individual section or online webinars where we chat about these things. Let us look at all the issues that are holding you back. Now, this is time for action. Take your bathroom ideas onto the world stage. My book, Knocking the Knockers, I'm still on it. You know, this year, you're going to have it. 
sign up and you might be one of the first to have it in your hand. Thank you.